uh, a new film that's out about your, your career with the X-Men, Chris Claremont's X-Men. Perfectly titled because you, you're, you're the writer that's most closely associated with the book, which is saying something c considering Stan Lee you know, created uh, the book with Jack Kirby. You know, it's easy to overlook this now, but when you took over the book, it was an easy job for you to get because nobody really wanted the job. Yeah, right? That's is pretty that much it. Say? It wasn't, it, easy is a, is somewhat a, easy. Well, basically all I did was tackle Len Wein and <laughs> hold him to the ground and say, I want this book. And Len took pity on me and said, okay, it's a bi-monthly, it's, you know, it has no future. Take it. What was it about the characters that interested you as a writer? Uh, first and foremost, Dave Cockrum, who designed them. Uh, Dave Cockrum was one of the most inventive, dare I say brilliant, character designers of his age. Uh, he had a way of, of mixing visual metaphors you know, that, that made everybody really cool. Even in that, the short two years we were, we were sure. together the first time, and the things we came up with were just, okay, what do we do this way? Well, let's end the universe. Okay, let's turn Gene into Phoenix. Whoa! One thing in the, in the movie that was really interesting to me was uh, you and Jim Shooter and, and Louise uh, talking about, Louise Simonson talking about uh, the Dark Phoenix story, mm -hmm. which, looking back now, you really see how incredibly groundbreaking that story was because you did something, as you point on, as, as is pointed out in the film, that hadn't been done before. You took a hero and made them as evil as they could be. Like somebody who killed six billion living beings. By accident. And, by, but they still die. Oh, no, no, but that was... Yeah, all, yeah. The, that, in a way, made it from... Sorry to interrupt. To me, that made it even more horrific because all Phoenix thought about was, I'm hungry. Oh, there's a star. Um, right. Munchies. Not even thinking there's a planet that's mm -hmm. inhabited, and by making the star go supernova, she expunged that society, because in that instant, they were ants. They were bugs on the, on the ground, mm -hmm. and we were, she was just walking by. I, I, the, the, the debate that's shown in the, in the, in the documentary with, with Shooter giving his side, you and Louise uh, giving your sides, I love that that debate happened because it was like, no, there has to be some consequence here. You know, back then in the comics, a, a lot of other books, probably a, ni a nice, neat resolution because mm -hmm. Jean Grey is a key, integral character, a founding member of the X-Men. We can't kill her off. But no. The debate happened that, con that she needed to face consequences for her actions. Well, that's it. I mean, John did the splash page of what would have been X-Men 137, which is Jean dipping her hand in the water of a stream and Scott looking very Scott-like, looming over her and, uh, I will take care of you, Jean, because she's, been, she's now no longer what she was. She's just a girl. And it's, a, it's one of John's most beautiful pages. And if we, uh, in retrospect, if we'd done that, it, it wouldn't have had anywhere near the weight that even that moment should have had. And it, that, that, the beauty of that piece of art should have, I guess, established for itself. Because she'd gotten away with murder. Um, and I think Jim, the irony is that the, the destruction of Dabari, the planet Dabari was a throwaway. We, you know, we wanted to, we were in, we were in the moment just having fun. Yeah, comic business and, comes at you fast. Well, and mm. figuring if we were going to, if we'd stepped over a line, uh -huh. that's what we count on our editor for. And that whatever happened, signals never meshed quite properly. So the moment got through, and then Jim, quite sensibly, when he read the final book, the final draft, um, before we, it, the book was to be sent to the printer, called us on it. And that was, that was the impetus that allowed the opportunity to make the choice 
How's that for a convoluted rationale? <laughs> that that got us to the, the, the place we should have gone in the first, in, in, from the very beginning.